Yo, what's going on guys, Bad Penguin here. Today I'm going to be basically showing you guys how to get better FPS in Fortnite. So obviously, you guys clicked on this video because you want better FPS, you know, to play Fortnite because maybe you're getting like not a lot and maybe you have a bad PC, stuff like that. You know, obviously I have a mid-tier PC. I got like a 60-50 Super or stuff. You guys don't need to know my setup. If you do care about the setup, then I do have a video on my setup um on a setup tour so anyways let's get actually into it before we do get into it please leave a like and subscribe i'm trying to hit one uh, three thousand subs please use code bat penguin in the item shop uh it, it helps me a lot obviously you know <laughs> just use code bat penguin by the way if you guys did enjoy this comment down below for the algorithm see you guys let's get right into it Okay, so to start it off, we're going to be having some different settings. So we're going to have some for Windows and we're going to have some for uh, your uh, Fortnite, obviously. So first one we're going to do, go to your settings. Obviously, right, you're going to want to be on performance mode. This the first one, if you're doing FPS, you need performance mode. This frame rate, you're going to want it to be one above with the exact same as your monitor refresh rate. So for me, I have a, one six, a 175 hertz monitor. So obviously I have the 180 FPS. V-Sync, you don't want this on. It's bad. Resolution depends on your PC full screen. You should be at full screen no matter what I'm just going over your basic stuff. I personally don't like any of these on okay 3d resolution 100% That's for me because I do recording I do videos obviously I do YouTube So I can't have it really less because that looks weird the rest all of this really doesn't matter view distance This you can have but it affects your FPS obviously so if you're wanting max FPS I'm just showing you for max textures low auto download high resolution off high res uh texture reminders off meshes low that's it show fps all right now for down here for the replays you don't you sh if you want more fps you're gonna probably want to uh take take off your uh, replays right so i have it on just in case because you know i want to look back if i kill a pro or stuff like that so yeah it's useful but uh, recording replays is just for normal games this is for a uh, team rumble this is creative obviously this tells you and this is for high quality ones obviously you could read um so so yeah this is basically your um in-game ones i saw some stuff also saying if for subtitles if you go to your options and make these all to the first one possible it gives better fps personally i don't see i don't think there's a difference but that's just me anyway so that's for your fortnite that's for everyone but now for pc players and stuff who want better fps then let's get right to uh your window settings okay so obviously the first thing that you want to gonna you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go to your desktop right so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to your nvidia control panel once you get to nvidia control panel click on the first one and then make sure that this one is use the advanced 3d image settings right but if you want you could use use preference Im emphasis emphasis to put it to perform Wow, I can't speak tonight. <laughs> Put it to performance, right? And then you and then you press on this one. I don't know, I just think it's better. And you press to take me there, right? It'll take you here. Now copy my settings that I have on. You could slow down a video, you could pause it, whatever. I'm gonna slowly go through them. So you can see, so I have them off, off. These you should have off, but it doesn't let me turn them off for some reason. So if you guys are able to, then turn these guys off, trust me. Just keep going just copy all the stuff I have. This, you're going to just set it to whatever your computer's at. So mine, I told you I have a GeForce 6050 Super, but you're going to click on your um, graphics card that you have. Then obviously, maximum performance, refresh rate, all of this, high performance. Yeah, so these are your settings. Just slowly going to go back through them. You could pause the video at any time that you need to to check these, obviously. Um, so that's the first one. All right, and then you're going to press apply and then OK. Okay, so as you can see, this is my main monitor where I play Fortnite on. So when you click on this one, you're going to want to make it as full screen and you're going to make it that you're going to check this little thing on, right? So now this, this is your settings for this one, right? Adjust desktop size and position. And then I'll show you guys my video stuff if you guys really care, but I don't really have any different changes and stuff. As you can see, these are my uh, settings for my main monitor. But yeah, so that's for your first one. Click on the little start thing in the bottom. Then you're going to search up uh, start up apps and you're going to click on that right you're going to turn off all of these now obviously as you can tell i have every single one off and i don't need them the startup doesn't mean that it won't ever work is whenever you a uh, read start your computer it'll open these up and you don't want these to open up unless you're actually going to use them because obviously you want the more fps and these will be in the background for no reason now we're actually going to go to background apps and we're going to turn these off so we're going to make sure that let apps run in the background is off so that none of these guys will be in the background while you're playing and it'll ruin your game settings you're gonna want game mode on most people don't know but i personally think that game mode actually does help with your fps yeah next one 
right up here xbox game bar you're gonna want that off because if you don't know you have what i'm using obviously right now the you have obs studio and you also have your uh, nvidia shadow play with like i have which is just alt z um if you're using a, a geforce or you know like a if you're using an nvidia um graphics card then you're able to do alt z as long as your computer is not horrible like my old computer <laughs> but yeah so you guys are going to want this one off to record and all of that because it's just um takes up your fps and all that okay so obviously the next one that you're going to want to do is go to your epic games launcher and you're going to want to make sure that high resolution textures are off so give me a second to do that you're going to press on library you're going to click on the three little dots you're going to go to options and then you're going to make sure that high res is off. Now, if you want even more FPS and like less um, space on your, or more space, sorry, on your hard drive is to uh, click on off of this one. So you don't have save the world either. That is obviously if you own save the world, which I do. So yeah, you're going to click off these two for more FPS and all that. You're going to make sure all these are off as well, but that's for um, space. We're not talking about space right now, but yeah, I see not only is it 10 gigabytes, it also takes your FPS. Next one you're going to do, this one's going to be a more secret one. You're going to go to your settings, right? Then you're going to go settings. Like you're going to click on that, your little profile and settings. Scroll all the way down. Go to where Fortnite is. You're going to probably want this one off, but I have it on just so I don't have to worry. This you're going to press and you're going to type in these. I have these in the description if you guys want. You can pause the video, obviously, if you're on your phone or something watching so that you can uh, actually just write these down. But it's uh, you're going to have to put the little dash, right? So it's going to be dash land play dash no splash dash use all available of course and yeah that's going to help with fps and all that now once that you have uh, done all of this you're going to press back and close out of epic games and then the next one you're going to want to do is you're going to press windows plus r to open up this little run command and what you're going to type in is percent temp percent press ok now you're going to see all this stuff that you do not need and you're going to just fully or you can press Control A. So you're gonna press Control A. You're gonna press Delete. Then you're gonna press um, Do's for all current items, and then press Skip. Okay, never mind. So yeah, uh, now you should have nothing left. But these are open at the moment, so I can't remove them. But yeah, so that's the first one. Then you're gonna press on Windows plus R again. Then you're gonna do this, and you're just gonna type in Temp without the little percentage. Boom! You have even more. You're clearing these. These are temporary files that you do not need. You're gonna press Skip. Those are the important ones. It won't delete an important one, obviously. And yeah, so th that'll free up some space. It'll free up some memory and all of that. So you have, uh, it'll go faster. And um, that should be it. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. If this did help you guys, please comment down below. Comment for the algorithm, all of that stuff. And use code BATPENGUIN. It really helps me out. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. By the way, 30 likes and I'll make a part two to this if you guys want more because I have some more uh, tips and tricks for a better FPS. But yeah, part two, 30 likes. See you guys. Bye.